this is Sol Johnston in Activity 9 and we're logged into our 411 server now let's go into our tools and then group policy management console then we're going to right click our group policy objects and then click new and let's type in GP01 right click our GPO1 and point to the GPO status and make sure that it is enabled. You, you'd have, you have the option right there to do enable or disable if you want. And let's go ahead and create GPO2 also. Right click desktops and then click link an existing GPO. And then go ahead and we're going to click GPO1. Also do that for GPO2. Right click GPO1 and then click delete. The arrows on the left can also change the link order. And then we'll unlink GPO1 and GPO2 from the desktops OU. Then let's go ahead and start Windows 8. On tools, we'll open the Group Policy Management Console. Now we'll click on the Group Policy Objects. Click GPO1 and click Edit. We'll click to expand the user configuration, policies, administrative templates, and then start menu and taskbar. Double click the option of go to the desktop instead of start when signing in or when all the apps on the screen are closed. Click Enabled and then click OK. Go back into the Group Policy Management Console, click GPO1, and then right plane click the Settings tab. Click the Show All link. Which mine seem to automatically show everything. Right click 411 DOM 1 and click link an existing GPO and click GPO 1 and then click OK. Then we'll log on as the Win 8 user and see if that works. Otherwise, you have to do a GP update to force the update. That's it.